It's a tedious job, someone has to do it, but it has to get done. Right now we're gonna have my husband do it. <laughs> Aki lunch for my husband. Hey. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every time I post a video. With that being said, today we're gonna be making a campechana or a shrimp cocktail, but not just any shrimp cocktail. We, or I should say, I love seafood. So a campechana is a cocktail, but with mixture of seafood. So I couldn't find most of the ingredients that I needed. So we're gonna work with what we got. So making a shrimp cocktail or a campechana is not just about boiling your shrimp. You need to make it taste good, okay? So that's the reason why we're gonna use two types of shrimps. We're gonna use the ones that are already peeled just because they're a little bit more tender. And we're also gonna use these, the ones that have heads, have skins, have tails, have it all. Because that's where we're gonna get the flavor for our broth. I wanted the big. Papa octopus, but unfortunately we couldn't find it. So we're gonna have to deal with a baby octopus. We're going to need some tomato, a red onion, purple onion, whatever color you see it. We're also gonna need a cucumber, some cilantro, and some limes. Onion, garlic, salt, pepper, chicken bouillon, and bay leaves. Our skins and heads of our shrimps. A little bit of clam juice, of course, our ketchup, our clamato. So let's get to it. We are gonna begin by making the broth first. So here's the deal, and it's probably the worst part of it all, and it's cleaning up the shrimps. It's, it's a must. Remove the head, peel the backs, takes off the legs, and then you remove the tail. Reserve. We're also gonna do the same thing, <laughs> the same thing to these. These only have the tails, but you're gonna remove them because they're not cute. So, tail, pinch. We are going to depoo them. There's a vein on the back of these shrimps that it's not a good time if you're enjoying yourself a delicious cocktail or campechana and you start chomping on this vein, which is the digestive tract, AKA poop. Oop. That is the reason why we buy these, because these are already peeled, deheaded, um, and depooed. Anyways, it's a tedious job, someone has to do it, but it has to get done. Right now we're gonna have my husband do it. <laughs> we are going to give these shrimps a nice little rinse. So let's go. Making sure there's no poop. No beards. Just clean, deveined shrimps. So these octopus, um, they came already cleaned. So we're just gonna rinse them. There you go, queen. We can't forget to rinse the shells of our shrimp before we extract any flavor out of them. At this point, our water is already boiling. Add my onions, my garlic. I leave the peel because, I don't, I don't know. Some bay leaf. I use chicken bouillon, pepper, and then a little bit of salt. Our shrimp shells. Simmer on low for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. Now we are going to curtir or cook this shrimp with some lime juice. Does anybody else call these lemons? Because I call them lemons. And I get corrected and it's like, those are limes, so they're not lemons. But I'm, I just call them limones, brothers, or limones. Sorry. So let's juice our limes in the shrimp. I'm gonna butterfly my shrimp. Like this. Acidity in the lime juice is going to cook this shrimp salt and pepper now we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes just to let it cook all the way through so 
I like to keep all of the vegetables separate. That way, you know, whenever it comes down to the picky ones who don't like cilantro, who don't like tomatoes, who don't like a certain type of vegetable, they can just leave it out. You know, the drill ends and we milk them. Both sides. Quick little milk. Peel. Cut in half, grab a spoon, and remove the seeds. Remove the seeds. Now, small little dices. Now, when it comes down to the onion, then I kind of like flare and I begin at the edge. Small onions. Now we're gonna cut up our jalapeno. I'm only gonna cut the seeds because I want the flavor of the jalapeno, not the seed, not the heat. At this point, our broth should already be ready. So now we're going to remove all of our shells, our onion, our garlic, because they already did their part. Their job is already done. We are gonna use the broth to cook our octopus. So we're gonna give them a nice little, so the octopus can look like that to all of them. Just a little bit, doesn't take that much. So now we're gonna cover it up. Forget about it. 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to remove all the junko in the trunco. Now we're gonna remove all of the octopus because we're going to cook the shrimp. Shrimp's only gonna be in here for two minutes. Shut the flame, cover and wait. Two minutes. We're gonna strain the broth. I'm gonna use a little bit of clam juice and it's cold. If you can put this in the freezer a couple of minutes before, better because this is supposed to be cold anyways. We're also gonna do clamato, cold also. If you can put it in the freezer, perfect. Some ketchup, yes, ketchup. Whisk, making sure that everything gets incorporated and all the ketchup has been dissolved. The most important part is to let this chill because our shrimp cocktail is supposed to be cold. Now we're just gonna cut up the octopus. We want chunks in there, so we're not gonna cut it super small. These are the tasas or the copas that you need. Do you remember our shrimps that we cur que curtimos in a little bit of limon? So we're gonna add about two, uh, we're gonna add like about four to the bottom along with some of that lemon broth. We're also gonna add some octopus. And of course, we can't forget the shrimp. The vegetables. I like to keep them separate, that way for whoever doesn't like a certain type of vegetable, they just leave it out. We're gonna add a couple of dashes of some salsa maggi. Huichol. Some more lime juice. I have cooled off my our broth with some ice because I like my cocktail to be really, really cold. And now you're just gonna pour it in here until it gets full all the way to the top without the ice, of course. At this point, we're gonna add just a little bit. Ooh, that was a lot of it. More ketchup. Top it off with some avocado. And then we're gonna garnish it using some orange wedges. I have bloody oranges, so that's what we're using. Because you already know garnish never stops here. We're gonna put it in a plate. And then we're gonna add salt and crackers on the side so you can eat it. Or you can also do tostadas. Like that. Wow, so cute. Now this is my favorite part, and of course it is a tasting. Cheers. 
Mm. This is how I make my capuchinas. Don't forget to hit that like button, share. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and follow me on everything. Bye. 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 Hey, 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 hey. hey.